Today we present Thermo King Alarm 26 Causes and Possible Solutions. Let's start by saying that Thermo King Alarm 26 is classified with a yellow light by the manufacturer and can be critical to maintaining the integrity of the refrigerated cargo. We will classify the two types of alarms to focus on the problem solution. A. True alarms, when the alarm is legitimate, and there are indeed real issues with the refrigeration system. B. False alarms, when the system is functioning correctly, but there are problems with the sensors, their incorrect placement, or issues with the cables, that can report non-real problems to the controller. Next, we will describe the causes and possible solutions related to Thermo King Alarm 26, when the failure is genuine. 1. The alarm is triggered, when the difference between the supply air temperature, and the return air temperature is less than 4.5 degrees Celsius or 8 degrees Fahrenheit, while the evaporator fans are operating, at maximum speed. 2. The alarm can also be triggered if the return air temperature does not reach minus 18 degrees Celsius or 0 degrees Fahrenheit within the time set by the controller. The possible solutions for Thermo King Alarm 26 are 1. Ensure that the compressor is functioning correctly. Check the amperage consumption for electric compressors and their operation for mechanical ones. Review the temperatures of the pipes, connected to the compressor. 2. Install pressure gauges and compare the discharge and suction pressures of the compressor with those displayed on the microprocessor controller. The pressures should match. 3. Use pressure and temperature tables corresponding to the refrigerant used in your equipment. This will allow you to verify if the pressures are suitable for the operating conditions. 4. Check the condition of the air filters to ensure that thermal exchange in the evaporator is adequate. 5. Verify the correct speed of the evaporator fan and the appropriate airflow. 6. Verify if the sensors are receiving voltage from the controller. Now, let's look at some measures when the alarm is false. 1. Sometimes, problems with sensors, their incorrect placement, or issues with cables can trigger false alarms. 2. Check the location of the temperature sensors, and ensure they are correctly connected. It may be helpful to measure the electrical resistance of the sensors with a digital multimeter. 3. If your equipment uses Part 1000 sensors, verify if they are calibrated correctly to have a resistance of 1000 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. 4. Use independent digital thermometers to see the true temperature values. 